Hey there! I wasn't expecting to do this video today, but I was thinking a lot about my experience in college and specifically going to music school and thinking about weighing the pros and cons of should you go to music school and is it worth it? So I thought I would make this video to kind of break down the qualifications coming out of a music school that I think are beneficial for anyone who's interested in studying music business. I thought it would be best to break it down into three categories in the same way that musician friends of mine do. It's either the hang, where you're talking about who's on the gig with you, or the people you're working with directly on crew, the money that you're getting for that gig, or in this case, the money that you're putting out of pocket for school, and lastly, the music. But for us, we're gonna be talking about the content and material that you learn from going to a music school. So to start off with the paying, music school, and especially if you're going to school in areas like New York or LA, where there's more of an established connection of community with the music scene, or Nashville too, you'll get more by going to schools in those areas because you'll be networking with the music communities there. And if you're interested, in getting a job in that area, I would recommend going to school wherever you're interested in working. So for me personally, I grew up in LA, I wanted to stay in LA, I wanted to go to school in LA. So I really focused on going to a state school here that was affordable, but also would allow me to help grow my connections post-grad. And while I was in school, provide networking opportunities that would help me post-grad. In a lot of situations, there's a level, I think, when you go to a music school, when it's a private as well, like a USC or Berkeley, that there's kind of a network there that allows you to have better networking events or instantly form these connections in the way that we do with maybe a sorority or fraternity or you might have interned at the same place as this other person. It's about bridging those connections and commonalities are the thread that keeps connections going or fosters new connections. So when you have that school tie-in, it automatically might be an icebreaker for somebody. But I also just think that it provides a network of employers looking for employees to pull from and if they know that the program is reliable and the students are reliable there and are hardworking, they'll pull from that network. One of the things when I was going to school at CSUN I really found valuable was the strong network and connection with TV and film and music and all different sectors of entertainment because they knew that the student pool coming out of there was really hardworking and really dedicated to putting out the best work that they could do. The next thing that I wanted to break down is cost money. How much are you actually willing to put out of pocket? Especially if you can get grants, I think that going to a state school is much, much more valuable. I really believe that if you're going to go into the music industry, if you're going to go into any entertainment industry, you're just not going to start off at a $70,000 or $80,000 salary if you were going into mechanical engineering. It's just not, that's not how that works. It's a lot of hustle. It's a lot of unpaid internships when you're going through and working in recording studios or you're doing it for college credit if you're working in live. You're not getting that build on your returns. I don't think the music industry has quite caught up to where we are with tech and the way that they value starting employees in that industry. We're getting there and I think we see better employee benefits and things like that and better internship programs, but it still is not at the level where you're going to be able to meet your rent in LA or New York or Nashville or wherever you might be. You don't have to be in those main hubs as well if you're working in specific industries. A lot of product companies are based all over the country. Live entertainment companies have hubs all over the country. For me, it just was natural to be in LA, so I speak from it on that experience. But you're dealing with the cost of living in a, one of the most expensive cities and paying rent plus your student loans. The math doesn't add up there, so I really recommend, if possible, going to state school. And then lastly, I wanted to get into the music, quote unquote, which is the content of a music degree. To get down into the cost aspect and, and bleeds into this, a lot of the materials that you're learning 
at a state school are not very different than a private school. And I say that from talking with friends who have gone to private universities who've dropped out because they felt like it just wasn't providing a lot of information to help them grow in their field in music. But I really just don't think that having a super expensive education matches with the material when a lot of the professors are teaching at the same universities. A lot of private professors teach at community college universities. So a lot of the personnel to look for is really the reason why I think it's very valuable to go to a specific school. Um, so talking about the content, it really is a set of copyright and publishing and A&R and music products and live entertainment. All of these things are very, very common between the programs. It doesn't vary in terms of, you know, one person is learning only this much of copyright and the other person is learning the complete thing of copyright. Every program has a basic, this is what you'll get a full understanding of. Professors in your program that focus on law, you'll get a much more comprehensive and in-depth teaching and understanding of these different sectors. Again, personnel is really important when looking at universities. I really do think that having minors, unless your program specifically allows you to focus in on exactly, exactly, exactly what you want to do. I wanted to go into marketing and found it very beneficial to have a digital marketing degree and business law because I felt like I wanted to also be savvy with contracts and copyright and understand the lingo a little bit more cohesively. I've also always been fascinated by law so it was a natural fit. That's where to me I kind of weigh the music degree a little bit heavier is when you're able to supplement a lot of your business side. A lot of music degrees really just focus in on the music. How do you become a recording artist? How do you build out your own project? And for a lot of people, and a lot of people at least in my program when I was going through, it wasn't about becoming your own recording artist. It was about working on the back end. And when you have a lot of programs that really lack that comprehensive understanding, it comes down to the students going and supplementing their education where they feel they want to excel in. That's where I have really found my growth at a university through these multiple avenues. There's a lot of time. I took four and a half years um, doing almost 160, I can give you the final count, but 160 normal credits were 120, which is almost a year, a little over a year extra. So it's a lot of summer classes. I was also doing internships, working part-time, doing multiple jobs on the side, be stressed basically for four to five years. So is it worth it? The way that musicians look at a gig, it's picking between two of the three. If it has all three, that's amazing. But a lot of the times it's, is it a great hang? Is it great music? Then you'll take the gig. If you're able to really create like a very well-rounded undergrad education, where you're able to pick exactly what you want to be learning and learn from people who are actually working in the industry, completely immersed in their music network at that specific location where they're teaching. So they can really bring those resources to their students. This is the only way I really think music school is worth it. You don't get a lot of return right off the bat. It's not worth going into debt to get a degree, but you will end up getting really great connections if you're at the right school, if you work your butt off, if you put in those ridiculously long hours. And at the end of the day, it will pay off. Also, the little side bonus in a lot of cases with internships and going to university is a lot of them will not do paid internships and they'll only do it for college credit. 
So by going to a university, you have more opportunities to intern with a lot of companies. Getting into paid and unpaid internship is a whole nother video to go over, but I wanted to break down those three aspects and give you my experience on what I found beneficial. I hope that helps give a lot of clarity to anyone interested in going into the music business and to a music school. So if you like the video, please make sure to subscribe. I'll be talking more about my experience experience as a student in the music industry, as an intern, getting hired, working at small companies, big companies, and try to give you as much insight to help you make your decisions and to learn more about our very complex and tight-knit industry. So I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!